Hey guys, Tim Walling here with SC Legal Carry. We train people to get a CWP in the state of South Carolina. If you need a concealed weapons permit, please look us up online at sclegalcarry.com. I want to give a big shout out to my biggest fan, Paisley. Love you, little girl. Well, Paisley, your dad dropped off this firearm for me. So he wants to go deer hunting with this pistol. This is a 44 Magnum. Taurus makes this, and this firearm is clear. It has basic sights on this gun. He wants to take these rear sights off and install a plate so that he can put a red dot on it so that he can go deer hunting with it. First thing we're going to have to do is remove the rear sights. Before we do that, let's take a look at what we're going to put on there for him. So this is a Wiegand machine and design. So here's what you get. So on the back, this fits into your rear sights and it's got a little edge here and here. These things are supposed to shear off as you slide this into the rear sights here. These shear off to make it fit. There's one screw here, and it'll be the screw that's in the top of your rear sights that we'll insert here in it. You'll have a plate so you can mount a dot on this revolver. Not a lot with this, you just get it plus, you get the plate plus the screws to install it. There are two screws. Your instructions are in here. I've already gone over these instructions and looked at it on how we need to install this. So we'll just put that paperwork off to the side. Okay, before we remove the rear sight, what we're going to do is we're going to record where it's at now. Four. Four turns, it's all the way down. We lowered it down four turns. We made a note so that Lance will know that. We'll put it in a Ziploc bag with his rear sights. So if he ever switches it out, he'll go all the way down to the bottom, he'll come out four turns and his sights will be right back where they are when we began. So let's take this screw out first thing. Okay, so we have our screw out. Now we need to get this small pin out. Usually these pins go from right to left. A lot of times they're just a little larger over here on the left hand side. So we're gonna push it this way. There we go. We have our pin. We are going to use the Ziploc bag that came with this to put the pin in and to place these rear sights in. Do be careful of your spring down here. Don't lose your spring. That's on the bottom of your rear sights. Drop it in that bag. We're also going to fold up Lance's note and stick it in there for him. Yeah. Before we go any further, we've got to clean this. This screw hole has got to be cleaned out. There's oil all in here. We want to lock tight this screw in the position and we cannot lock tight it in if there's oil in our inside the hole. Also, these screws come with oil on them, so you'll need to clean the oil off of these screws before you insert them. Let's just, we're just going to use a little brake cleaner on it to clean it up and we're going to use a little compressed air afterwards to clean it off. Remember, wear safety glasses when you do this. Look at how dirty that actually was. So make sure you do clean these and let's clean this screw. Loctite will not stick to this screw and it will not grab in these threads if you have if you have grease on them. A little compressed air. Most of these that you install would go in from the top. Not this one because it's got to shear these little edges off. You're going to have to start back here and you're going to have to tap it. You're going to have to tap it in with your hammer forward towards the front, okay? So we got it in here nice and firm. And let's take our mallet. We're going to hold down and we're just going to tap forward. So the first shear pin sheared off. Now we're doing the second one here. So there's the second shear pin. And there we go. So you can see we got a good tight fit here. We're nice and snug here, right across the back of the gun. That is actually a perfect fit for this gun. So this comes with a longer screw and a shorter screw. So let's try this longer screw first. I'm just gonna drop it in here. We're going to see if we can get it to grab. It is grabbing. So let's pull this back out. 
let's put a little bit of Loctite on this screw. And remember, it's only going to attach down here at the bottom. Just take our finger and work it into the threads. We'll drop our screw back in. Use our Allen wrench. So it takes the longer screw to fit this. Now, we got it tight, it's snug down. So all we're gonna do now is we're gonna do an eighth of an inch turn after we got it snug. And that is all the manufacturer says to do to put it on. Uh, you don't need gauges or anything to do that with. Fine threads on this. You don't want to put too much pressure and rip those threads out. Yeah. Before you take this to the range and start shooting it, you want to let this thing set up for 24 hours so that Loctite dries. So i got a Romeo 4H sitting here. Let's just drop it on and see how it looks. Easy enough to install that. Now the gun already weighs four pounds. This might be a little overkill for it, might be a little big, but you can choose what you want to run on it. So if I was to install this, I'd want to push it all the way forward to install it because when the gun actually fires, all the force is going to try to catapult this red dot towards the front sight on the gun. There it is with the Romeo sitting up on it. Pretty easy to install, only took a few minutes. Did you guys get a good look at that on the gun here? Lance, I hope this works for you. I hope you get the biggest buck of your life with this thing. Enjoy, have a great time. And again, a big shout out to Paisley, my biggest fan. Remember, guys, don't push your responsibility as an adult off onto a child by gun locking a gun safe to secure your firearm. Till next time, take care, everybody. Well, that was easy and quick.